friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I have another drape fit unboxing and try on to share with you. If you happen to see my first drape fit video, it was kind of a like a little hodgepodge of a box, if I am to be perfectly honest. And there's a dress in there that I still giggle <laughs> when I think about it. So it definitely was not my style, the things that they had sent me. But I wanted to give them another try because I have seen other YouTubers that have gotten some cute pieces. And Drape Fit is a really affordable styling service. So I am trying them again and we will see how this goes today. With Drape Fit, you do not get any kind of preview. So there are two bundles that I've got here and I have no idea what is in them. I did not ask for anything in particular this time. So we're just gonna go with it and see what they sent me. All right, and for those of you who do not want to see the unboxing portion, I will go ahead and put the time that the try-on starts right here so that you can just jump right over to the try-on. But for the rest of you, let's go ahead and open up these bundles and see what they sent. Okay, in the first bundle, I've got some pants. And these are stretchy black pants. I don't know if I'd really call them leggings. They've got like a little bit of button detail up at the waistband and you can see they've got pockets. Um, I don't know, I they are stretchy so maybe they will be long enough but right now looking at these, they don't look very long and they look like they're gonna kind of fit like a legging. So we will try these. The next thing we've got, what is this? Okay. We have a black like t-shirt material with some, is this leopard print like flutter sleeves? Okay, that's really not my style going out of my comfort zone for sure. So we will try this. The next thing we have is, okay, this is kind of like a rust colored V-neck tunic top, long sleeve. Um, it's, it's basically just a long t-shirt. I do like the color, that looks nice for fall, so we'll try that one. This next, okay, it's a very large teal t-shirt, crew neck, or is it mock neck, I'm not sure, long sleeve, but it's really oversized, as you can see. And then we have, let's see, what is this? Okay, this is a navy blouse with very sheer sleeves. It, it's not showing how sheer they are when I'm holding them up. Got a cute little pearl button detail at the wrist here and it's got the keyhole in the back. It's kind of like an overlay. That could be pretty. All right, let me open up the next bundle. What is this? <laughs> okay, I think it's a scarf, but when I first, I thought it was like kind of a hat or something. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is an, an infinity scarf and the black and white. Um, I don't know, when I first opened it up out of the package, it almost reminds me like of a skunk or something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one that sees that, but a scarf. And then what do we have here? Oh, this is pretty. It is an open front card again. Is this, do you call this like boucle? Like the nubby weave? It is that off-white, so it's going to be determined how this looks on me with my coloring. But I mean, this is cute right now. It looks, the one thing I can see that sometimes I it bothers me, the looks like it's gonna be a dropped sleeve, but we will go ahead and try it. So those are all the pieces that they've sent. Let me go ahead and try on the first few pieces. I'll be right back. Okay, I have the first two pieces on and let's go ahead and we'll start with this, the top. Now, this is just a very light t-shirt material v-neck tunic top. It is a cute color. I will give you, I'll say that it's very fall-like. I'll have to see how it looks in the footage. There's just, 
Not too much to say about it. It has the wider banding here around the V-neck. Here's the color, you can see a little better. I mean, it's a pretty col rust color. It does have a little bit of slits on each side. And does it go back? I don't think it's longer in the back than in the front, is it? Maybe just slightly? But definitely a tunic style top. There's nothing really wrong with this. I don't know, I'll have to see how it looks on the footage, the color, and just the, you know, the tunic style on me. Okay, so now we will go on to these pants, and I'm doing quotes because they're really just like leggings that I think they're trying to make look like pants. Um, <laughs> yeah, the fit of these is not great on me. All right, so they are, you know, they come up over my belly button and they do have a wider band. And I'll try to zoom in here. They've got these two covered buttons at the, the waist here with the pocket. And then in the back, they're trying to make it look like it's another flap, like a pocket, but it's not a real pocket. And then there's this other like weird kind of seam across the back. I'm not sure if I'm showing it correctly. But obviously they fit like leggings. They've already got, I can see, a, like a, a tear, not a tear, but a pull over here. The fabric is not, not that great of these. I, I don't know, there's something about these, that I, the, the legging feel that I don't really like. And I mean, really that's all they are to me is leggings, that they're trying to somehow make this look like pants up at the top. But would I ever wear, you know, a short enough shirt where you could see all of this with the way these fit me? No, I would not. So basically leggings that they're trying to make look like pants. But like I said, there's already a pull over here. And I'm not crazy about the feel of this fabric. And the pants are definitely going to be a no. All right, so now I will try on the open front cardigan over this. I was getting to the point where a lot of the time the drop shoulders is not a look I really like for some reason. So this definitely has the drop shoulder. And I, like I said, unboxing it, I'm not sure if you call this like boucle, but it's kind of like that nubby weave. It's pretty. I mean, the, the fabric is a pretty weave. The sleeves, I mean, I'm 5'9", and I have really long arms, and look at how long <laughs> these sleeves are. It does have two pockets. With me being 5'9", I mean, this is coming down to my knees. So if you're a lot shorter than I am, I mean, this could be even hitting your calf. It's okay, I'm not liking the fit on me, and I think the color still is not great with my coloring. I know that the cardigan is definitely not gonna be something I'll be keeping. All right, let me go ahead and I will try on the, the next piece. Okay, friends, I have, this is the blouse from Drape Fit. The skirt is actually from Banana Republic that I've had for years that I decided to try this blouse on with a skirt because it is kind of a dressier blouse and this is probably how I would wear it. So I wanted to see how this would look together. So, so we are just looking at this blouse from Drape Fit. Now it is a pretty navy and you can see it's got a little bit of like the puff sleeve here at the shoulder and then the sleeves are very sheer. And it has this pretty detail, it's got the pearl button at the cuff. And then in the back here it has the little pearl button with the Key, the keyhole in the back and it's just it's a very pretty blouse if I worked in an office I could see that this would be something that would be very nice to have because that's the you know type of work attire that I used to wear when I did work in an office so I do have it tucked in to the skirt and I will go ahead and take it out because it is very long okay so you can see it's very long and very flowy. So there's kind of a lot. The one thing I don't like about it is there's a lot to tuck into your skirt. But um, just wanted to show you to the length out. And it does have, oh, hi, Lou. Hi, buddy. It does have this layer of, it's like a polyester. It kind of looks like, oh, sorry. It has a polyester underneath it and then this other polyester sheer overlay on top. And then the sleeves are just sheer. 
so I don't know I'll have to take a look at the footage I'm not sure I really have a need for it but this is a pretty blouse and I am happy with the quality of this and if I had an office job it might be something I would cons consider but um, this is not a bad one at all. The next item from Drapefit is the top. These are my own jeans. All right, so this is the black like tee with these, I don't know, it, I, I'm not sure the animal. <laughs> is this a leopard print or, I'm not sure, but it's like layers of flutter sleeves here. And it is a drop. Um, shoulder too because the seam is here and then it's got the the flutter of the whatever the animal print is here the actual t-shirt part feels so incredibly soft this this part feels like really nice quality but I just have to tell you that this it's just not me the animal I just you know I feel like I should be doing a little shimmy or something <laughs> when I have this on it's just not my style but the actual t-shirt this fabric it feels very nice so I do have the front tuck in but I'll go ahead and take it out so it is kind of like a roomier fit very nice fabric but like I said, this just the, the animal print and the way the sleeves are, it's just not really my style. But if you like the, the animal print and the flutter sleeves, this could be a cute top because I have to say the quality of this one feels very nice. All right, I'll go ahead. I think I've got um, two more things to show you. Okay, I have the next top on to show you. And this is the really like an oversized tee basically is what it is. Another like tunic style, but I do have the front tuck in. And these are again, my jeans. Now I will say this is a really pretty color and this is a color that I am drawn to a lot of the time. So I do love the color. And the fabric of this is incredibly soft. This feels like very nice quality. So I'm really happy with the feel of this fabric and it, and it feels like very nice quality. All right, so it is just the crew style, crew neck styling. And once again, unfortunately, it has that drop um, shoulder style. So you can see the seam over here. And it's a shame too because if this had been up, it looks like it might have had the little puff detail. And I think I would have liked it so much better if the seam had been up here, you know, at the shoulder with like a little puff sleeve. I think that would have been cute. But I'm really not loving a lot of the time the drop shoulder styling on me. So that's really just me and you know, some of you may like the drop shoulder. So I wanna show you, I wanna step on Louie here, but all right, so here is with the front tuck. Let me go ahead and show it to you out. So it's very boxy, very roomy. If you like these type of tops to wear with leggings, this would be perfect because as you can see, it definitely covers your bottom here in the back. It does have the slits on the side. This is a nice one and I do, like I said, I do love the color. This is a really pretty color, kind of like a teal blue is what I, I guess I would call it. So other than the styling on me, personally, this is a very nice top and once again, I'm impressed with the quality and the feel. So it might be perfect for someone else, but for me, I think it's just, there's a couple of things that just aren't quite right. Okay, friends, I have the scarf on to show you now, and it is very plush and fuzzy and very soft, and this would definitely be a warm scarf to wear on a cold winter day, no doubt about it. But when I put it on <laughs> and I look in the viewfinder and I told you when I unbox it, I just, it screams skunk or something to me with the black and white stripe. I wish it had been either just a solid, you know, if it had been solid black or another color, I think it could have been cute, but this black and white for some reason, I just, skunk just keeps coming to mind and that's obviously not something that you want to be thinking you look like a skunk when you're out with a scarf on so 
Although the, the fabrication is really nice, it's really soft, very warm, it feels nice up against your neck and it would be nice on a cold day, I'm just not a fan of the stripes. So for that reason, this will be going back. But I'm gonna go ahead and I will change into my regular clothes and then I will come back with a wrap up and let you know what I'm thinking. Okay friends, I am back and I have had an opportunity to look over all of the pricing of these pieces and look back at the footage. And I will say the pricing of these pieces is really, they're great prices, there's no doubt about that. As you know, I put the prices up for you when I'm editing the video, but I don't look at the prices until the end just because I don't want it to sway me one way or the other. So obviously good pricing and even though I will tell you right now, I'm sending everything back and I just did not love anything in here that made me feel like I just had to keep it. And I am really trying to be stringent about what I'm keeping from here on out, but you know, I should have been doing that anyways. Why keep things that you don't love, right? So just because I don't love these pieces, I will say I am more impressed with the quality of this box and even though the styling and think certain fits might not have been right for me, they are getting better, I can tell, and I will once again give them another try because I think that's the key with these style boxes is that you just have to give them some time. I leave a lot of feedback when I send items back because I wanna make it easier for them to send me things that I could possibly like. So with that said, I think I am going to wrap it up for today, but I do wanna thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye.